What's up, YouTube? This is going to be your guide on how to use Sandy Shocks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun me movesets too. If there's a set you think works really well on Sandy Shocks that maybe I didn't mention here or that's working well for you, leave it below in the comment section as well and let me know if there's any other Pokemon you'd like to see me cover. Without further ado, let's have a look at some of the Sandy Shocks movesets. So Sandy Shocks, looking at its stats to begin with there, so it's primarily a special attacker. It's got 121 base in special attack and 101 speed. Now, apart from those two stats, its health is average. The rest of its stats are kind of bad. So it's got an electric and ground typing too, which isn't a bad typing, but I wouldn't say it's absolutely incredible either. Now, on its special moveset, it is kind of barren, so I wouldn't say this Pokemon is absolutely broken. Uh, it's not terrible either, but it's, it's sort of like about in the mid-range, mid uh, I'd say, for competitive. So I've given this one, uh, we've got Earth Power as its main stab for ground here. We've got Thunderbolt here um, as its main electric stab. And I've also given it Flash Cannon too. Flash Cannon is just you know, kind of handy for any Ice-type Pokemon, you know, Fairy-type Pokemon, uh, those sort of things. Now, the other one I've given it is Power Gem. This is more of a filler move and you could definitely play around with this if you wanted to. Now, with Booster Energy, um, I'm not going to be giving it anything like Volt Switch because there's not real, you know, too much point running that. So, I'll show you its options here, but there is very, very limited options. So, we've got like maybe Terror Blast if you wanted to change your Terror around to something different than Electric that I've already got it at. I just like Electric because it's only got one weakness then. So, it's, it's pretty straightforward and you sort of know what the opponent is going to use against you. Uh, it does have Try Attack as well. That does doesn't really bring much to the table and yeah that that's pretty much it. it does have charge beam too but that's a little bit more gimmicky so yeah i just be giving it that or you give it another status move just on top of that if you really wanted to you could give it like I don't know, if you wanted to set a Stealth Rock up, you could there. Um, even on a uh, like a sweeping set, you could do that. But uh, there's, there's a couple of options here if you really, really wanted to do that. Um, you've also got some other cool moves here, which I'll, you know, I'll I'll go over them in a sec. But yeah, that's a Booster Energy set. That's probably... It's all right set. It's, it's not too bad. But this is the main thing about it is it's, it just doesn't learn too many special moves. And they're not like amazingly powerful moves either. So... Yes, with the boost of energy and the EV spread here, I've given it max speed, timber nature, and max press attack. So this is going to give it a 1.5 boost, uh, sorry, a 1. Uh uh, three boosts in its uh, special attack there, and you know, it's going to be hitting pretty hard. Uh, its speed is pretty good, but it's it, it can be outsped by other Pokemon, so you have to watch out. Uh, the main thing you sort of have to watch out with, like, other grass types can really destroy it too. So another cool thing you could do if you really want Terra Blast, you could go uh, Terra... You go Terra Fire as well to counter any like Grass type Pokemon. That would be cool. And Ice type Pokemon. So that's a, another move option you could do there for a booster energy set. Now, the next one I feel that works very well, probably the best with Sandy Shocks, um, is either Choice Specs or Choice Scarf. So we've got sort of a similar uh, move line up here, except we've got Volt Switch. So Volt Switch is very nice on this Pokemon because it's going to do some nice damage. It's going to do good scouting, good momentum on your team there. I've doubled it up with Thunderbolt and Volt Switch, which is fine. Uh, that works great there. And we've got Earth Power and Flash Cannon there. So you know, near perfect coverage that this Pokemon can you know can get. Um, I've given it Terra Electric too. Um, you could do like you could go like Fire again there. Another good one you could do is Grass too. Uh, that's not a bad at getting around any grass type move or leech seed and spore and stuff like that that's uh that's kind of handy to go for that too so i guess it depends what type of pokemon you've got on your team if you've got grass type pokemon on your team well you don't need to do that you know so sort of just think about what other pokemon you'd be using there but yes a choice spec set um for the choice spec set i've given this modest nature and max speed and yeah it's going to be hitting very very hard for the choice scarf set this is going to give it a little bit of extra speed here. So that's going to be, yeah, it's going to be nice. You know, Choice Scarf, uh, Volt Switch, and you know, you've got uh, Thunderbolt. So that's going to be good too. So if you feel like Sandy Shocks isn't fast enough, well, whack on the Choice Scarf there. And, you know, that'll give it uh, an extra 1.5 boost in speed and, you know, make it a lot better, you know, in uh, speed. You will lose a lot of base power, especially with uh, the, the specs, uh, if you change that for Scarf. So bear that in one of mine. Those KOs... Those one-hit KOs may not be one-hit KOs anymore, so it's sort of up to what you need on your team. You could, I guess it sort of kind of runs similar to like a Choice Specs Magnezone or Choice Scarf. 
Um, but yeah, they, uh, they, okay, I don't know. Like, I don't know what is with this Pokemon. I think it's its limited special move pool that uh, sort of lets it down a little bit. Also, having um, I don't know that ground typing. It was, in my opinion, it was better as a steel type. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's your um. That's probably a. This is probably one of your main sets you're gonna see for Sandy Shocks. Either it be Choice Specs or Choice Scarf, and um, people might run Boost Energy too. Or you could even, for example, on its stats, so you could even put on like Assault Vest if you want. So for for uh, for attacks and a, uh, a assault vest there, that could that could definitely work too. So just make give yourself a little bit more bulk on the special side. You know, surprise the opponent. You might be able to live and attack a little bit better. Okay, so another uh, well viable sort of set here that you could run is a utility support sort of set here on Sandy Shocks. Now I notice it does get spikes and stealth rock, which is pretty good there, and it gets Volt Switch. So that's nice. You can set up your you know, your entry hazards there. And you've got Volt Switch to get out of the matchup there. And you've also got Earth Power just for a little bit of coverage. So I can see that one working. I've built this one quite bulky, but I've built it very uh, special, uh, like specially too. So we've got uh, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature, and Max Health. So a bulky special attacker. And we've got Leftovers as the item too. So as you're setting up Spikes and Stealth Rocks, you're, you know, you're probably going to most definitely take a couple of hits there. So that would be quite good. I've given this one Terra Grass too because... I don't know. I feel like if you're tending to lead with that, you might be drawing out any like uh, sort of other status moves too. And if you want to get around any spore or leech seed and annoying stuff like that, that could uh, definitely help. Any grass type moves too. You know, you can turn yourself into a grass type and you resist them. So yeah, and then you can you know vault switch out of the matchup there and those sort of things. So I definitely think it's got a bit of potential. Um, as for any other setup style moves, I did see. It have light screen and reflect too. So let's have a look at that. May as well. So we've got light screen here and we've got reflect. So you've got a, a good screening Pokemon here. Um, we put on light clay as the item there because we want to you know, increase the uh, turns it lasts for. So yeah, you could, you could run that this very similar too. It's like exactly the same if you don't want a, uh, as a, as like a spikes stealth rock set. Run it as a light screen reflect set. Set your screens up and then uh, go for Volt Switch. You know, I, I think that would definitely work. You know, it's got enough Volt, especially if you can go uh, like once, depending on what Pokemon you verse, right? If you can get that first screen up, then you can Volt Switch out or you can get both and then Volt Switch out. So you've got a little bit of extra bulk there for sure. As for the Terra, I'd, I'd probably even leave the Terra as the same. You know, that could definitely work Terra Grass. Or if you want Terra Electric, you could. You know, you can go ahead and do that as well. But definitely something you could uh, look at there for Sandy Shocks as a Spike Stealth Rock support or like a Light Screen and Reflect uh, screens. So that could definitely work. Now, this is a little bit more of a fun set. I used this one the other day in one of my same team teams. It was the uh, new Generation 9 items team. So covering all the new battle items. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do it. It's on the channel. And uh, yeah, so this one makes use of the move Gravity. Gravity is a really cool move because it increases... Uh, the accuracy of moves by 1.67. So you've got like a move like Gravity here. Now, just off the top of my head, I'd think that's about... I'd say that hits about 82 or 3, something like that, Zap Cannon. So it makes Zap Cannon a lot more accurate. And, you know, with that 100% Paralysis, like, that would be really, really cool. Now, I've given it Earth Power as well. And I've given this one Hyper Beam with Terra Normal. So it hits very, very hard. Plus, you get a cool little jewel spinning around on your head as you use it. Now, I've given this Rindo Berry, so I, I guess you're sort of set up there with the gravity and, you know, say a grass site comes in, you could that could be helpful, I guess. It, it is a little bit gimmicky, so uh, maybe if you want Zap Cannon to be a little bit more accurate, let's say. So we'll make it really, really accurate. We could give it a wide lens. So that would be like... Oh, I'm trying to think. That'd be like almost 92 or 93% accuracy around there. So that's pretty That's pretty good. And you've got the 120 base power too. So that's going to be doing some nice damage there. Uh, the EV spread, I've given it sweeping EVs, obviously. So we've got uh, Tib of Nature, uh, max, uh, max Speed, Max Best Attacker, last little bit of defense there. Yeah, so that's a gravity set, which is uh, kind of cool. Uh, a little bit different there. So next one we got here is another special attacker. Um, we've got a Metal Sound set. So Metal Sound is a nice uh, status move here. Its accuracy is a little bit shaky, sure, but uh, it can activate uh, Throat Spray. So once you've dropped the opponent's defense by special defense by two stages after a Throat Spray, 
you are absolutely going to dominate them. Like, uh, So we've given this one some more powerful moves. I've actually opted to go for Thunder here. Matter of fact, you could even use Thunder on this set here too. And that would be like... You know, that, that would be like 100% you know, accurate then. So that could, uh, well, almost 100% accurate there So with those items. So, yeah, so that's another option too if you don't want to run Zap Cannon. But yeah, um, back to this set. So we've got Metal Sound here and we've got Thunder uh, from Down Under. And I've given this Terra, Terra Blast Water as well. I think this isn't a bad choice. I, I, I know it is weak to grass, but it also is weak to ice too. So that could be a nice little surprise. Uh, and you've got like other ground type Pokemon too. You could uh, surprise them with a Terra Water. I've also got Earth Power on there just for some coverage. And that's a uh, Throat Spray uh, set there. So after plus one and special attack, uh, Sandy Shock special attack is going to be like very, very high. Now let's move on to some real meme move sets here. I'm going to do a couple after this one too. So I sort of ran out of uh, room here. So we've got uh, Sandy Shocks. Now we're going to have a look at our physical attacker. Now physical on Sandy Shocks is terrible. Terrible. But on Pip Knight's channel, we cover all move possibilities, everything, you know, everything about the Pokemon, not just the competitive stuff, everything about the Pokemon. So even some fun stuff and some terrible stuff, but just nice to have a look at everything. So we've got, uh, I noticed we've got Stomping Tantrum, so I thought, like, well, Zap Cannon could work well with that. So Stomping Tantrum doubles in base power. Uh, when the last move fails, which of course includes poke Pokemon moves missing too. So, you know, that's going to be very, very powerful. So 150 base power there um, on the Stomping Tantrum. And if you land the Zap Cannon, well, you land it and you get a Paralyze. So... It's all good. I've got. I gave it some like. I was looking at some other moves that are like terribly, like like kind of inaccurate that it learned on the physical side as well. And it gets Giga Impact at 90, and we've also got Supersonic at 55 too. So you could almost deliberately go for Supersonic or Zap Cannon to get that. Uh, the next turn, double up on base power. Now I've given it Blunder Policy too. So Blunder Policy can uh, obviously this works well in with uh, you know a move missing. So that'll increase its speed by two stages. So. Yeah, this is never going to get outspent. Matter of fact, I'm going to adjust that. We're going to make this super bulky and super... Hey, yeah, I like that better. So so that was... I get, I'll explain why I did that. It was a little bit of a waste there because we didn't need to be that far. So, you know, with the blunder policy, this is still going to be virtually outspending everything. I've now given myself a lot more bulk and a lot more attack because his attack is, you know, kind of bad. So there you go. I, I really like this blunder policy set. It, it's fun. Um, give it a go there. Obviously, it's it's not like super overpowered, but if you want something fun to use, this could be like another option there for sure. Now, let's have a look at some more movesets here for Sandy Shocks. I'm just going to remove mine, mine on my other ones here. Doubles. Let, let's have a look at doubles here for a sec. I always like to mention singles and doubles. So, I did see a nice doubles move. So, we got our Discharge on it, which is great for... Um, let me suggest another Pokemon. So, I was thinking a good doubles partner you could put on there. Let's have let's bring up some Volt Absorb Pokemon because they're always like really, really good to, you know, to to run there. So we've got um we've got Jolteon, uh, Pachirisu, that's kinda nice. We even got um we even got Poor Mot too. That'd be kind of cool. So Poor Mot. Um let's say for example we've got I'm just thinking some some ways here to okay, we'll go with we'll go with Jolteon. So for example, you could use uh, discharge, and this has uh, this could also use discharge as well. So you could you know be dam damaging uh, the opponent, and you could be healing. Uh, you know that would be getting healed, which is really really cool. There, it wouldn't be doing any damage to uh, Sandy Shocks either from Jolteon. So that's a kind of a nice combination there. Let's have a look at some other moves that it could get. Let me have a little think about this. So we do have Swift, but that's kind of bad. You'd probably still have to give it some... You have to give it just uh, a couple of just coverage moves there. So we've got Earth Power. Let me see what status moves we got here for it. It's always good to look. Um, we've got uh, we've got Thunder... Thunder Wave isn't all that bad. We could give it Thunder Wave. That, that's definitely helpful. And we've also got... I mean, you could give it... Um, you could give it Metal Sound as well. That's not that bad a move in doubles too. So that would... That, I could definitely set that working too. That'll help out your team. Or you could just give it Protect as well. So that could always you know, be a nice move there to use. As for item, I'd probably... Yeah, this is a this is a bit of a tricky one. It, it, could, it depends what you want on there. So I'd probably... It depends on your Terra too, actually. So probably you might like more damage on Electric. That would be nice there. If any Ground-type Pokemon, that would be a little bit of a problem. But you can still, I guess you can still use uh, Earth Power. Matter of fact, you could give that you could give that Rindo Berry as well. Or even um even like uh 
Mm, I think a like Pasho berry would be cool too. A couple of like little pinch berries there or citrus berry. You've got quite a few little options there, uh, you know, to put on Sandy Shocks. It can run like a, a lot of different items and stuff like that. Uh, as for EVs, uh, EVs, we'd be giving this one... Now, you could even make, you could really make this one bulky. I don't see why that wouldn't work because you've got some bolt there. So, if you were running it with the speedier Pokemon, like, you know, used to say Jolteon, Jolteon's very, very fast. So, you know, that would be speed, absolutely destroying with uh, Discharge there, doing some good damage. Be nice if we got a uh, helping, helping hand. That'd be good. Doesn't get helping hand. I, I guess it doesn't have hands. So, there you go. But uh, yeah, that would be a pretty cool partner. Any any Volt, uh, Volt, uh, Volt Absorb Pokemon would work uh, very nicely on this team. Now, as for counters, uh, Grass Pokemon. Lots of Grass Pokemon uh, counter this. Um, another good partner as well, I was thinking. Uh, just off the top of my head here. For, uh, if you were going to run this Pokemon. So it is, uh, it is weak to ice. I know this is weak to ice too, but it is it is quite weak to grass. So this could uh, this could definitely be handled there. But unfortunately, they are both weak to uh, ground. So wouldn't really one doesn't res uh, resist uh, ground though. So that's not going to be any good. Let me have a look at some other little options here. I'd like to suggest like a couple of uh, move sets or any Pokemon you go with. Like, what about Wo Chin? Okay, so we got our uh, Wo Chin here. So that would be okay, I guess, and that would. Just be a nice tanky uh, Pokemon to swap into. I know that it is uh, grass too, but if you've got a Terra Dark on there, you could just go Terra Dark on there. Or if you've got Terra Electric on it. Actually, yeah, that'd be. That's another thing to think of too. If you had like a Terra. Just on any set, if you had like a Terra Electric, all you're weak to is like, uh, like ground type moves then. So any Levitate or Flying Pokemon could come in like super, super easy on that. Like, you know what I mean? So. That would definitely be good there. A fire type Pokemon will work well too, um, as a, as a partner for this. This would actually work quite nice. If we can get something, even a even a Charizard wouldn't work too bad here. I'm thinking like Charizard. That's not too bad. So Charizard um, can handle those grass type Pokemon, and he can, you know obviously it's got that flying type too, so it's not going to be hitting any ground moves, and you can handle those ice types too. So uh, a fire flying Pokemon would work well with uh, Sandy Shocks at the same time too. But yeah, this isn't very hard to counter, really. Um, it's not the fastest po It really isn't the fastest Pokemon in the world there. Uh, so if you're able to outspeed it, uh, you can you can always hit it. Uh, you wear it down there. It's got a very limited move pool, so you know what it's going to use, right? These are the moves. Um, they, these are virtually the moves that it's going to be using all the time. So electric move, a ground move, right? So, you know, I'm thinking... I'm thinking that's be pretty easy to predict, you know, so you know what it's going to be using there. I mean, a ground type Pokemon will be pretty good against this. That's, uh, you know, reasonably bulky on the special side. Let's bring something up real, real quick here. So we've got a bit of bulk. It looks like some bulk. Yeah, so ooh, uh, Toad Scroll. That, that's interesting. So Toad Scroll would be quite good against that as a counter. Uh, that's it's got the ground and grass typing there. Uh, we've also got Clodsire too, so Clodsire would be good. And we, you know, with with its um, you know, none of the electric type moves. It is going to be weak to ground though. So if it, it depends on sort of like Terry going into there, so it has such a massive special defense and health stat though, so it probably wouldn't matter. But we'll go we'll go with Toad Scroll here. So that's not a bad uh, counter, I would say so to the Sandy Shocks. I mean. None of its electric types of moves are going to be working there. Its ground type moves isn't going to be doing that much. And, you know, Toad Scroll uh, is a grass type Pokemon too. So it's going to have a fair bit of advantage there. It can go for, you know, Spore and things like that. So, yeah, some interesting sort of counters there. Some interesting teammates. Some uh, quite interesting sets. Let's do one more little look over here at our last little bit of a look at all of its status moves. Yeah, I like to go over absolutely everything. Once again, if you've got anything to suggest, make sure you do. Oh, it gets uh, it gets Magnetic Flux too. So that probably would only be useful really in doubles. But I could suggest something. Matter of fact, I'll suggest something fun. So we've got Magnetic Flux. If you don't know what Magnetic Flux does, it works by boosting the defense and special defense of an ally with plus or minus ability. Let me uh, let me demonstrate that right now. So we've got Toxtricity. So you could, if you wanted to, use a whatever Toxtricity you wanted there. You could use Magnetic Flux with this in doubles, right? And you could... Um, 
give this uh, minus here too. So you give this minus, and if an uh, active ally has uh, the, the as well, uh, that also works together. But uh, not with this doesn't have it though. But this is still going to receive a nice boost on its uh, defense and special defense. So it's an ally. So this making toxicity low-key a little bit bulkier. So that could uh, be an option you could use there. Let me have a look what else we got. I think we had like... Uh, we had Ampharos. So Amph that wouldn't be bad on Ampharos. So this could make like Ampharos super tanky. Yeah, this isn't too bad. So you could give Ampharos a defense and special defense boost. It's That's a already... It's already quite reasonably bulky there in its health. So that would be kind of cool if you're using Ampharos. And you could give up some other moves here like... You know, discharge is always good too, and you know this uh, obviously that would have plus. So yeah, that'd be that'd be good, and that wouldn't be doing much damage to Ampharos either. So yeah, some more options there for for Sandy Shocks. But in summary, for Sandy Shocks, this Pokemon isn't definitely not like super broken or anything like that. Um, it has reasonable stats, which is quite good. Its typing is okay. Uh, it has a Baron special attacking move pool. So I've had a little bit better sort of uh, special attacking moves you could go about doing uh, something a bit... It could be a little bit more powerful, but I wouldn't say it's terrible, so don't underestimate it. It does have some utility support. It, I'd say it's mainly going to be shown as like choice specs and stuff like that. One more set you could try with it. I was just thinking off the uh, top of my head here too. Because it doesn't have... It doesn't have bad defense. So you could do something like this too. I was thinking about running Iron Defense. He does get Body Press too, which is cool. And let me have a look on here. You could even, yeah, you could even make it as a, like a, a, a sort of like a, a Iron Defense Body Press set there and make it specially uh, defensive. So I can, you know, tank, uh, we won't, won't drop a special attack. We'll drop it the tank. You can make it uh, special special attack um special defense you're really bulky and just you know get that defense right up and go for body presses i reckon that could work nicely you got a rest on there and you got a chest bro so that wouldn't work too badly either so you get the stealth rocks up and you got a bit of presence about your body press uh the only thing is you'd probably have to watch out for ghost types but of course you wouldn't send this out knowing there's a ghost type on there so you have to uh you know go ahead and play around with that and you can just give it even this Terra Electric would still be fine on there because that's only got one weakness, you know? So that's an option. Or if you don't want to run that, you could go like... Oh, we'll, we'll go like... Uh, we'll just pop on Earth Power there as well. So it's, it's still got 278 special attacks. So that could work too. And that would hit Ghost Types as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Sandy Shocks. I hope you enjoyed this one. Found it... Uh, Found it interesting and uh, got some moveset ideas out of it. I think I've got two more Paradox Pokemon left and that's it. Um, I think they'll be tomorrow. They'll definitely be this week. All right, people. Peace out.